Hey everyone! So today I'm going to show you a video on my makeup kit and introduce myself a bit. Sorry if my hair looks kind of jacked up because I cut my bangs really short and it didn't work out. So I kind of swooped it right now, pulled it to the side. And the contests are great to do because it's just motivation for me to do different videos. So First off, um, about myself, my name is Trisha. I'm originally known as Makeup Tricks, and I currently am transitioning into Beauty by TK because, well, now I'm kind of doing everything in general with beauty except for nails because I'm not too fond with nails. No offense to people that do it, I just don't don't do nails. I mean, look at look at my nails, just just one color. <laughs> Okay, so this is my drawer of everyday beauty that I use, or everyday makeup, and I use concealer for under the eyes along with a loose powder or pressed powder. I use Polydor for eyebrows, um, also my MAC Spike Pencil for eyebrows, and um, I also use this Soft Ochre Primer if I'm going to do eyeshadow. And I use Black Track for my wing liner. I do that every single day. Next to my skincare line, I have my brushes that I use every day. And I have foundation here. I don't use it all at once, but I use Makeup Forever HD for a matte full coverage finish. Jane Aridale for a more mineralized, glowy kind of finish. I use Lancome Tintadol Ultra if I want a natural finish. And I use MAC Studio Fix Fluid in NC40. Um, I kind of use this a lot. You can kind of tell there. <laughs> and here's my drawer of blushes along with my box of Sephora uh, colored pencils. And I have a different variety of blushes. I have a miscellaneous drawer full of samples from different companies. I have different pigments from MAC. I also have quads eyeshadows from MAC from different collections. In this drawer, I have all my eyeshadows and primers. And I also have a bunch of lipstick and glosses from different collections. In this drawer, I have like extra Q-tips I've had. And um, I also have these makeup removers that are individually wrapped, which is kind of neat. This is my only airbrush foundation I got from MAC. And I don't use it much, but you have to shake it to mix the two um, products together in there. I also have a body paint from MAC in white and also in a black. So in my stock I have Skin Finish, Hyper Real, which are both discontinued. I have my Beauty So Clean sanitizer spray for powders and eyeshadows and cream. I also have stocks of liner and mascara wands that are disposable. I have a blot film from MAC, which is good to use if you want to touch up on your shiny T-zone. Paula Dorf Transformer turns eyeshadow to liquid liner. I also have stocked up on black track because I love it. <laughs> and just a couple of more things that I have in stock in case I run out. So at the bottom of my kit, I have a foundation palette that's actually waterproof, so you can use it for covering tattoos or birthmarks. In order to activate it, you have to use 99% alcohol, because when you touch it, it's actually stiff, but it stays on all day. I have Bare Bronze from Victoria's Secret and Beauty So Clean wipes to help sanitize like cream liners and eye pencils. I have a foundation pot from Bobbi Brown and Studio Stick Foundation from MAC. 
I also have the mineralized skin finish from shimmery tones to matte tones for highlighting and contouring. I have a drawer full of q-tips and an eyelash curler and I also have a box of sharpener just so that way it stays clean and sanitized. I have loose powder that's translucent and it's from Prescriptives. This powder is actually really cool because it goes on wet on the skin. I have this cream that helps to absorb and control oil and shine from Nurturing Force. You could use it alone or use it as a HD primer. I have 99% alcohol just like I told you guys about. And I have different palettes of foundation from light to dark. I also melted some lipsticks and made my own lip palette using this Makeup Forever case. And I also bought one that is already pre-made but these are painted colors or pink colors. I have different types of colored liners for eyes, different fluid lines in different colors. I have glitter liners from different collections as well as PowerPoint eyeliner. It's great for swimming with because it's waterproof. I also have different mascaras, different eyebrow shades and gels and wax. I have different colors in lipsticks and lip liners. I also have glosses in pot form or tube form. And I have disposable lip wands. This is my bright blush palette, and my dark one, and my soft one. I have yellow eyeshadow, blue and neutral eyeshadow, greens, purples, brown and cream, and I have a plum and pink. These four palettes are actually pre-made and from jayzbeauty.com. And this is my brush collection and it's kind of messy right now because I just did a makeup gig but I just wanted to show it to you guys. This is my stock of eyelashes. I have different kinds from natural to really dramatic like these purple ones and like this orange one I got from Friends Beauty Supply. But you guys know my most favorite and affordable is Red Cherry. Okay, so that was pretty much it. I'm so tired because there's just so much stuff to show you. But um, hope you guys enjoyed the video and stay tuned for more videos. And that's it. Yeah. I mean, if you guys have makeup kits, that'd be cool. You could do a video response and show me all your makeup kits. That's kind of cool to, and neat to see that everyone has different things, you know. So show me your kit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I didn't realize I had so much makeup. And I'm kind of thirsty. <clears throat> I mean, I've, I'm... Yeah. <laughs> what else? Um, well, hello there. I'm all up in your face right now. Because I'm tired. I just want to go to sleep, but I have to go out in a bit, so I like to say so a lot. Don't I say so a lot? Wake up still and I, I'm, I'm tired. I'm so tired. <laughs> okay, thanks.